Daily Bible Time. Good morning, it is Dominic Steele. Thanks for joining us. It's Thursday morning, the 7th of March. We're in Jeremiah chapter 25 today. And uh, I need to acknowledge um, that uh, I wasn't happy with my study on 24, chapter 24. I want to go back and add a little bit. You'll remember that in chapter 24, it was about good and bad figs. And really, the bad figs were the rotten under judgment figs and the good figs well they're fruitful and prospering and going well and essentially the good fruit figs are the ones that the Israelites who've left for Babylon and the bad figs are the ones who've stayed in Jerusalem um, well the thing I didn't draw your attention to which I should have um, when we did the study a couple of days ago on chapter 24 was the warning back in chapter 21 and um, in chapter 21 verse 8 tell this people this is what the Lord says look I am setting before you the way of life and the way of death whoever stays in this city will die by the sword famine and plague but whoever goes out and surrenders to the Chaldeans the Babylonians who are besieging you will live and will retain his life like the spoils of war for I've set my face against this city to bring disaster and not good this is the Lord's declaration the city will be handed over to the king of Babylon who will burn it now that's back in chapter 21 so you get to chapter 24 and the pronouncement one basket contained very good figs like early figs the other basket contained very bad figs what do they mean um, well the bad figs are inedible the good figs are good and the good figs are the exiles from Judah off to Babylon and the bad figs so inedible that um, I'm going to deal with King Zedekiah of Judah, his officials and the remnant of Jerusalem, those remaining in this land. I'll make them an object of horror and disaster to all the kingdoms of the earth. It's judgment on the people of Jerusalem. So then we get to chapter 25, our chapter today in the first 14 verses. And this is the word that came to Jeremiah concerning all the people of Judah in the fourth year of Jehoiakim, son of Josiah, king of Judah, which was the first year of King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon. The prophet Jeremiah spoke concerning all the people of Judah and all the residents of Jerusalem as follows. From the 13th year of Josiah, son of Ammon, king of Judah, until this very day, 23 years, the word of the Lord has come to me. I've spoken to you time and time again, but you've not obeyed. 23 years I've been preaching and you've not obeyed. The Lord sent all his servants to the prophets to you time and time again. Lots of others have repeatedly given you this message. But you've not obeyed or even paid attention. He announced, turn each of you from your evil way of life. Turn from your evil deeds. Live in the land the Lord God gave you and your ancestors long ago. Don't follow the other gods to bow and worship to them. Do not anger me by the work of your hands. Then I'll do you no harm. But you've not obeyed me. This is the Lord's declaration. And you've angered me by the works of your hands and brought disaster on yourselves. Therefore, the bad fig judgment therefore this is what the Lord of armies says because you've not obeyed my words I'm going to send for you all the families of the north this is the Lord's declaration I'm going to send for my servant Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon and I'll bring them against this land against its residents against all the surrounding nations and I'll completely destroy them and make them an example of horror and scorn and ruins forever I'll eliminate the sound of joy and gladness the voice of the groom and the bride the sound of the millstones and the light of the lamp. This whole land will become a desolate ruin and these nations will serve the king of Babylon 70 years. When the 70 years are completed, I'll punish the king of Babylon and that nation. This is the Lord's declaration. The land of the Chaldeans for their iniquity, I'll make it a ruin forever. Interesting, I've been to Babylon, it's still a ruin. I'll bring on that land all my words I've spoken against it, all that is written in this book that Jeremiah prophesied against the nations. For many nations and great kings will enslave them, and I will repay them according to their deeds, according to the work of their hands. So this section of chapter 25 is I'm going to bring the judgment. In chapter 24, it was the prophecy, the graphic prophecy of the good figs and bad figs, following on from the warning in chapter 21. Heavenly Father, we pray that you would help us to hear the warning to not neglect the warning, to not neglect your word, even though it might have been repeated many times and we might be tempted to think, where is this judgment that he promised, like in 2 Peter 3? But to know that the day of judgment will come like a thief in the night when we're unexpecting it. 
and we need to be ready and we need to be alert and we need to be taking your word seriously. And we pray that in Christ's name. Amen.